Hello and welcome to Insights from the PM's Desk. My name is Justin Pluff. I am Deputy Chief Investment Officer of Global Credit at Carlisle. 2022 turned out to be a difficult year for most traditional asset classes. Public equities, treasuries, and really anything impacted by interest rates suffered significant losses. However, as we start 2023, we see signs of optimism. This is largely driven by lower inflation across the board, the reopening of China, and outperformance in Europe. So let's start with the macro situation. Inflation is reducing across the board. That's something we've been talking about here for the last few months. Now we're seeing it in just about all of our data. There is some dispersion in expectations for how quickly inflation will reduce, but the trend line is very clear. We see the same thing in interest rates. Going into 2022, there was broad agreement among the Fed and the markets about the interest rate environment. Of course, inflation spiked and everybody turned out to be wrong. Today, there is broad consensus that interest rates will moderate, but the Fed continues to think that interest rates will remain higher for longer. When we look at the yield curve, we can see a similar issue. Going into 2022, we had low interest rates and a normal upward sloping yield curve. That's been turned on its head. Now we have higher interest rates, maybe even a inverted yield curve, and certainly the expectation that rates will not return to 2021 levels anytime soon. For risk assets, we see broad agreement about where public equity markets will end the year, somewhere in that 3,900 to 4,100 space. But when you drill down to the underlying data, there's actually broad dispersion about the earnings estimates for companies. I think this reflects the general unease about how companies are going to survive in this persistently higher interest rate environment. So how are we positioned at Carlisle? Well, first, we have a technical factor in our favor. When we see outflows, we also see yield spike, and we get paid more for the risk that we're taking. That's precisely the situation we find ourselves in as we head into 2023. Spreads have risen well off their lows in 2021, and most importantly, yields have remained higher than at any time since the great financial crisis, other than that few-week spike in March of 2020. We also believe there's tremendous demand for our capital. There have been several decades of underinvestment in things like property, plant, and equipment as companies have focused on technological innovation and globalization. As companies seek to onshore their businesses, we think tremendous amount of investment will be needed, and much of that will come from private credit. So where do we see our opportunity set today? Well, first of all, direct lending. As banks have retrenched and are unwilling to lend in the typical leveraged loan market, many more borrowers are coming to direct lenders for their normal financing needs. We also see an uptick in activity in the opportunistic space as companies need financing through a transition or need to shore up their balance sheet to live in this new higher rate environment. Finally, in special situations, we're starting to see the beginnings of opportunities there. Not every company is going to be able to survive in this higher rate environment. That's an opportunity for us to come in, reboot capital structures, and take advantage of stress or distress situations. So as we head into 2023, we at Carlisle do expect a mild U.S. recession, but we ultimately think that the investment environment is strong. There's tremendous demand for our capital, and yields continue to be much higher than historical averages, meaning that we are capturing more value from our investments. Thanks for tuning in, and we will see you next time on Insights from the PM's Desk. <music>